Hello friends, this video on separation of substances part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are Introduction Why separate substances Hand picking Threshing Winnowing Sieving Sedimentation Decantation Filtration Evaporation and condensation. So separation of substances. Now what do you think will we learn in this lesson? So, what do you see on the screen first of all? You see a bunch of fruits, maybe a basket full of fruits where you have grapes, you have apples, you have bananas, you have oranges, you have mangoes. So you have a lot of variety of fruits in that basket. But let's say the only fruit that you love is an apple or is an orange. So what will you do? Will you start eating all of these fruits from the basket? No, because you love orange. So you just want to eat orange. So what you do is you start picking oranges from this mix of fruits. So here comes the concept of separation. So you actually start separating the oranges from these bunch of fruits. Similarly, maybe your friend, she loves apples. So she might start picking up the apples. So that's how you end up separating the apples in a different basket. You separate the oranges in a different basket. So that's how you start separating the fruits from each other. So that's where we talk about separation. So in so not only this fruit basket, in a lot of other situations, we see that we have mixture of various substances, maybe two or more substances are mixed together to form something. Now, when we want to separate those components of the mixture, we need to make use of some techniques. So here in this lesson, we are going to talk about some techniques or some processes which are used to separate components from a mixture. Where, what are those scenarios where we think of separating substances? So let us look at these scenarios. Let's say when you prepare a cup of tea for yourself. Now when you prepare tea, what do you do? You take some water, you put some tea leaves in the water and then you start boiling it. Right? Now once it has uh, been boiled considerably and then what you do? You separate the tea leaves from the tea that is the liquid tea because the liquid tea is the one which you drink so you do not want the tea leaves and that is why you filter the tea before you serve it to somebody so here you wanted to separate the two components that is the tea leaves and the liquid part of the tea now the liquid part of the tea is something that you would drink because you that, that's how you drink tea and what happens to the solid part that is the tea leaves these tea leaves can be used for some other purposes right so this is a scenario where we think of separating substances think of another scenario let's say when you prepare rice or when you prepare uh, any dal so you make use of pulses like this now before you start cooking what you do is the first step is you wash uh, the pulses properly to see that there are no uh, unwanted particles present in the pulse or there are no tiny worms present in the pulse. So first of all with your hands you just see quickly if there is some harmful substance which is present in the pulses. Sometimes you also wash it so that you can remove all the undesirable substances. So there also you are actually separating the undesirable particles from the pulses. You think of a glass of water. So let's say this glass of water is not plain water but it contains salt dissolved in it. So it is a salt water. Now if I tell you that I want the salt out of this water because salt is completely soluble in water. So once you have put say two three spoons of salt into a glass of water it has completely dissolved. So now you cannot see the salt particles. But once you heat it what happens? The water starts boiling. So after some time, all the water gets evaporated. All the water vanishes because the liquid water gets converted to vapor. So what is left behind in the pan? All that is left behind is the salt. So here also we are talking about separation. So you see all these examples, we encounter these things like preparing rice, preparing pulses, preparing a cup of tea, preparing a salt solution, a sugar solution. So these are our, these are part of our day-to-day -day activities. So everywhere you see 
knowingly or unknowingly we tend to separate substances so here uh, in a, a very organized way we are going to learn about what are the various techniques that we can use to separate different types of substances thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates Thank you once again.